Hello and welcome back to Micro Civilization. We'll be continuing where we left off with musket men on the way. And I believe we've got, is it railroads? Yes. Looking to upgrade our quarry. We've also got these random dilemmas coming in. Um, I guess we're getting a bunch of vagabonds. Um, we're probably going to need some, uh, oh well, yeah, we've got, oh dear, we, yeah, we, we need housing. We need housing yesterday. Um, <clears throat> tenement. Let's try that. And click. <laughs> okay, don't accidentally build too many. Right. Uh, block it. Stun it. Double up on damage there. Common hero. First level thirty. Damn. The minus fifty percent quest time though is still enormous. Way better having that. Right, the vagabonds will eventually free up the well finish filling up the free space there. We desperately need musketmen. <clears throat> Right, let's get this lumber mill built, because, my god, we need to, we we really need to get some uh, additional lumber coming in here, because this, this is no longer anywhere near enough of how much it requires now to build things. We've really got to up our game here. Right. Also, we can. Oh, clicked on the one wrong. On the one wrong. Yeah, wrong one. I meant to get rid of uh, these, but oh well. Next time, perhaps. Okay. We can also. It looks like yes. Convert to village. There we go. We could also go and hunt some mammoths. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, good lord, we still need to. Oh, deep mine. Right. This is iron it requires, okay. Getting somewhere with that. We need a tenement though. Right, we've got a bit of extra uh, free space. Oh dear. Crap. What got destroyed? Oh, god damn it, the grain the granary got destroyed. I think we'll lose this. But no, we don't. Play it for twenty seconds, right. Another one of them up. Right. And musket men. Yeah, 
think that next defense will probably knock it out. There we go. Lumber yard, lovely. Right. Fortress. And we need to repair this immediately. Right, it requires stone, so there we go. Uh, lumber factory. This also requires stone. Well, that gave us nowhere near enough. Um, but honestly, improving the mine will help us improve the uh, lumber mill faster, so we should do it in that order. Right. And I should sell those. And we are definitely in need of some uh, cooldown speed, I think, on that. So let's try... In a moment, we'll get this done. Right, deep mine is nearly complete. Then we'll build some houses. That's where kind of starting to need them then we'll put the cooldown on and get everything get all our abilities back here so and that should work right oh yeah that's a ton more uh, stone coming in and before we do that we desperately need housing so plenty of free space And we'll build a second. There we go. And then we'll go to the lumber factory. <coughs> Next tech is... Windmill. Yeah. Definitely windmill. Okay. This now gives nearly 6,000 stone. Thanks to our upgrades. Lovely. Meanwhile, here we will. Ooh. Can boost this up a bit. And what do we want here? Probably musket men. And this is now plus a hell of a lot more wood than it was before. Um, let's bring all the cooldowns off. Right, yeah, charges are coming through much, much quicker. Right. On that note, we should soon have all of our military resources filled back in. Alright, let's see how we do here. So, we're on 7 out of 10. Yeah. Next, we'll be getting the improved windmill. Uh, when we can and that should bring in a lot more food 
And then we'll be able to maintain our current population and even increase it a little bit. Right. Um yeah, I'll just finish this up for clicks now. So what have we got? Let's go with probably canning antibiotics. Yeah, if we move along here, we'll get way more food. So I'm going to start with that. Ooh, that's going to be huge. Um, iron is required. So much iron. Um. Oh god, right, that's a lot of iron, of iron that's required. But we'll get in there. Right. We'll bolster that up then. We'll sell some more abilities. I'm getting quite a bit as well now. Okay. Let's have a look then. Right, so, yeah, it might have been a better idea to go for the blacksmith, but we can do that next. Because, yeah, we're, we're starting to need way more iron now. And I've got a sneaking suspicion that all the upgrades are going to start requiring iron at this point. thing is, though, about upgrading our population first, uh, population directly leads to more science output, so... Right. <clears throat> uh, we are going to need more houses as well here. Okay. Button's getting a smidge hot there. Right. We'll get on to cavalry. We can push the button. There we go. Then move to fortress. And we need stone. So. Oh, yeah, that should be easy enough to do. Right, there's a bunch of them already. Canning is done. Two minutes for by two and a half minutes. The antibiotics would be nice, but we've already got plus food, so while we're getting, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We can shift over for iron for a moment. Now that our military is back up to snuff though, we'll probably want to start looking at uh, clearing out more of this. Right. We still get the same benefits no matter what we do. The level just seems to be how hard it is to create, uh, or how hard it is to pass it, so... If Banny also changes this reward. Um and this will reward us with seventy-five quid. This rewards us with nearly a grand. But the actual tile that gets converted isn't any different, so it's kinda pointless. Right. Let's try the mammoth in fact, is this one closer? I think all the stuff's 
at least going to be a minute and a half from now on. Um, do we want soldier capacity? Because it's pretty good soldier capacity at this point. The three... The three wood we're going to get is barely going to even be felt at this point. We should probably go for the uh, Ashtaven in that case. Right. Pashed as it is. Though we will have to combat potential fires for a while. So that's going to be a thing. Right. Um, okay. Fortresses are getting built. We should be able to hold this off quite easily. But I'm saying hold it off. We, we've only got a, a 2 in 3 chance of actually having to fight. In fact, no, we've got a 1 in 3 chance, though, of actually having to do anything. It may just pass by. We might not have to do anything here. There's every chance. Right. Uh, we'll get rid of some of this excess food as well. There we go, it's a bit balanced now. Okay. There's our forts. Let's get this grain silo upgraded. Might as well. Um, oh god, that's going to be a lot of... Uh, what of iron. Woo, two and a bit wood a second. What a what a difference that has made. The worker though that we get from this will be a big difference. Far more so than the three wood. Right, assembly line then. We also might want to start using these bonuses that we've achieved soon. As they'll not be that much good to us when it gets toward the end here. Right. Assembly line will be two minutes. We're likely to face fire. Speak of the devil. Right. this. Oh, it's a flaming cannon now. Holy hell. Right, that does a number on them. Right. <clears throat> so, our cavalry is now artillery. Oh dear, this is going to be a bother, isn't it? Try that again. Okay, this needs to finish up. Right, we'll need to build up our military again before we can try that one more time. Thirty-eight seconds. Right. We'll get the upgrade to the forge. Any moment now, and well, yeah, and then we'll uh, basically crank out this grain silo upgraded uh, with that done. Also, we should probably go musket man here. Then we can at least use these charges so that it can be generated more. Wow, that actually fully upgraded it. Oh, well, fully replenished them. 
very surprising. Um, right. So next we'll go antibiotics. And we'll go straight for the factory upgrade here. Um, it needs stone. Well, that's excellent. Right, we can put a load of stone straight into that. Um, let's double up on one of these and use another, and that's practically finished it. Right. Let's sell a few things as well. And this should now give us more on each use. Yep, there we go. We can get some... Oh wow, but cannon units require a lot. <laughs> right, thankfully though, we now get a lot, so... Right. Uh, okay. That right, cannon is built. Fortress, I guess. Um, we might as well cash all these in as well. Okay. Then plus fifty six per cent research, not bad. Increase our workshop cooldown uh, cooldown speeds. Right. Okay, we just got a lot of um, additional additional food there. <laughs> and we will put everyone straight back onto musket men I'll use that there we go and I guess we're going on to selling stone although could put the three space suits here we're getting a lot of additional uh, a lot of additional food coming in let's get some residences put together so if I do that okay somehow that created more food yeah we got an extra worker Okay, um... <clears throat> Let's see what we get here. Uh, yep, that's that. Okay, we still need more housing space. Nearly 36,000 population now. We're absolutely booming in terms of that. Right, another one, okay. We might be able to get one more of those in. Um, right. Yep, that's about right. Back to stone, get this done. Now what? Uh, conscription, I guess. Sure. 
and we can be on that. Right, sell some more stuff. Also got some new heroes here. Okay, that is an absolutely enormous amount of additional food. What's that? Plus 39% a second to shame. Um, okay, so he goes in the middle slot. Way more wood per click. Reduced chance of disease. Reduced militia cooldown and auto research. This guy is... Tons of stone, one worker, and recharges forts. Yeah, worker is better than soldier capacity, I'll get it that much. Right. Uh, no, he's nowhere near as good as ours. This guy. Hmm, autonomous construction. 3.4 clicks a second. Low risk of fire. All the stone. Thing is though, um, <clears throat> as good as that is, ours, ours is a unique, and it has the unique modifier of minus 50% quest time. And he gives us gold a second, which at the beginning of the game is enormous. This might give us a really big bonus to autonomous mode and to stone specifically, but if you're not wanting those things exactly, then you know the extra gold income and the faster quest times, because yeah, the quests take way too long to pop. Right. <clears throat> okay, this is about to tick over. There we go. Women's suffrage. Additional food per click, but pesticides is the big one. That's the absolutely massive mega tech. As soon as we get that, the population will basically skyrocket at that point. I think we'll easily go up above and beyond 50k when we hit pesticides. Ninety-five percent research for a while. Ooh. <laughs> Nearly thirty-nine K research coming in at the moment. Right. We can get this going as well. Right. <clears throat> We're probably going to face a fire here. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Tech complete. Okay. And here comes the mega tech. Now, it won't be done in a minute because it's about to lose a massive portion of its bonus, but we shall see. Yeah, back up to a minute. Okay.
Get some of those ability charges sold. Might as well. Getting nearly a grand per sale. Right. Get this stone sold. There we go. Let's get a fort in play here. And get it stunned. Okay. Let's try that again. Double fire right at the end then. Okay. We'll produce some more infantry and yeah, we're gonna need to do some of these wood charges. And there goes that uh, sudden injection of food into the economy. Right. Um, might as well get the uh, stock market going. Get food income. Right. Pasture, not bad. I guess we'll start there. <laughs> right. Also, we have reached 40,000. Um, 3.6 clicks per second. Uh, not bad. But we've got one additional soldier capacity here. Mind you, the damage is a lot better. And it gives more clicks a second. But I like the additional soldier capacity. Capacity set uh, seems to be a pretty sizable upgrade. It is, it's. Because it allows you to be more over prepared for things. So I think that's probably the way to keep going here. Capacity above production. When do we next get a, well, when do we get our next worker? 100 foul. Right, well, this won't take us up to that many. Right. We'll see if we can finish 60 quests. For that reward, might as well. Right. <laughs> Inventory are nearly done. Go so with the quest. And produce a few forts. There we go, and then we need these tenements. Because we are running out of space again. Uh, what's next on the research block? Why not? Right. 
Stock exchange, we'll need iron for that. There we go. Probably one more lot of housing, there we go, that's plenty now. Back to sun and stone. We can probably use one of these food blocks, there we are. Still got a hundred coming in per second. Right. Let's send out more quests. Right, and sell those, use one of them. Down to plus 60 odd. Ooh, a second now. Sell another lot. More, oh, there we go, right. We'll probably end up at about 50k in population. Right, pretty good. Next tech. Ooh, um, let's get the barracks upgraded. We're getting close to ascension. Right. Oh, and this is a revolutionary text, so there's a social crisis risk, as well as the fire hazard. <laughs> Maybe we'll just cool our jets here for a moment. Okay. We do want to do six more quests for to fulfill that. Um... Money's looking fantastic. I think we get a, a star at the end for having 50k. Right. 30 seconds and odd until we've got this tech. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. And with the storm, we're basically just printing money at this point. Right. Nearly done. And then we'll see what we've got left. I think we're on the last tech or two now. Right. Mobilization, theater, and then ascension. And there'll only be a few minutes. Right. Get our last quests in. Okay. Boop, boop, and... Okay, artillery absolutely nails everything. Ah, we've got this encampment as well that we can put in now. And go back to the cannon. Hmm. We can double up on that. And if we wait a few seconds, we can probably finish it off. There we go. Right, with that done and out of the way, 
We'll get our forts rebuilt. And I think it might be time then to, like I said, we'll see if we can get all these quests finished to just get us up to 60. And we'll see if there's anything that we can just push over the line before we ascend. Oh, and at some point we've gone to minus 30 food. I don't know when that happened, but it did apparently. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, uh, supply lines that we'd bought have run out. Okay. Okay, yeah. Military's back up. This will complete this quest chain. I might quickly do one of these 32 strength ones at the end. See if we can get them done. So I'm wondering if it'll give us really good heroes here. Okay, so cannons absolutely obliterate everything. And are uh, absolutely no joke. Right. Okay, done. And we'll go infantry. I just click the button, yeah. Cannon. Okay. 40 odd seconds till that's finished. I've just got to survive another half a minute with a large fire risk. Right. Population is just shy of 50k. That said, but it has basically just stagnated at this point. Right. What can we get from here? That's true. Okay, let's try level 32. Ascension. There will be a crisis at the end of it, apparently. Oh god, that's going to hit us twice, isn't it? Right. Right, we'll have to be ready. Okay. Now the Ascension Crisis, and then the Barbarian Crisis back to back, which will not be fun. Right. I must say, well, this National Theatre is coming together very quickly. The Great Smog. <laughs> I'm taking it this is the big crisis then. Get our cool 
cooldowns going faster. Open up, a, open up a fort there. Delay of a crisis. Funny to think about it, but at the moment we can probably generate that much money, we can probably just stop it indefinitely if we want. <laughs> Right. Okay. Boom. Boom. We'll wait for that stun to wear off, then we'll give it another go. And two, one, hit them with this. Right. it just smack itself on all the shields pretty much. stop doing that. I keep hitting that. If you've already got it stunned, it cancels out the stun. I need to remember that. Right. right let's see if we can get this cannon put together. Very nice. Okay. Cannon. Oop. Level thirty two Prussians, eh? Okay. Crisis. This will be available in 13 seconds. Lovely. Right. get right nice level 36 hero damn not bad not bad at all um okay yeah we're gonna need more guys Ascend, right. Next reward is at 50 pop, uh, 50,000 population. Okay. We can do that. Um, workshop level 50, 56. Right, we can't upgrade any more workshops. Quests. Next reward is at 80. Crises. At 100. Tech. Right, we can't really get them. We can get the population. We could go for the gold. If we really want to. Which I think we can actually do, surprisingly. 
Right. All we do... Trigger that. Sell, sell, sell. Done. Right, that's already 64 grand. Right. Population will be no problem. Uh, we do need to just get... Uh, that'll probably do. Right. What we need to do then, all we need to do, is wait for these two abilities to basically cool down, and then we can just make a ton of money. Right. While we're doing that as well, we can slowly just build up our military again, and get ready to... Uh, Maybe clear out the rest of those barbarians. And we'll see where we go from there. But I reckon probably within... Maybe an additional 5 or 10 minutes we can probably be on that. Right, and we'll... Again, we'll keep on those barbarians because I think it will keep giving me level 30 odd heroes. Which is exactly what I want. Right. The thing is with this, isn't it, is the charge time on this seems to take quite a while. Because I think the charge time on this might be a bit shorter, perhaps. Either way, they seem to be a bit out of sync, so some waiting around will be required, it seems. Right. Anyway, are we gaining our infantry fast enough though, so all's well there. Might as well as, as well go into the fort here. There we go. Regenerate all those forts. And we can go on to the cannon. Go. So now we just need the infantry. And with that, yeah, we'll slowly, slowly be able to get all these back, uh, back up and we'll, I do think we can get that hundred grand, I think we can. And it won't be that difficult. Plus each of these now is one and a half K. And we can stack up to five of them. So that would be about, yeah. <laughs> so five of them. Uh, so if it's one and a half, so one and a half, three, which means six, seven and a half K. Double it because we can use the double charge from the windmill. It's about 15 grand all in. That we can just suddenly make from all of that. Then we just press this a couple of times just as we ascend and our population skyrockets well beyond 50 K. Right. That is a plan. Okay. We'll get that started. We'll have all our infantry by then. We'll need a handful more. Right. Well, yeah, we should be able to get some level 30 odd heroes for that. With any luck, while we're waiting around. We'll 
We'll hit them with the triple damage of the artillery and then just swarm them with infantry. That's what the plan will be here. But yeah, we should be able to get a, just eke out a couple extra stars here just at the last few minutes as we cruise on through to the next uh, playthrough. And like I said, I think after this one, I'm probably going to uh, do a few off screen just so that the next time we can have some a lot more new content. You know, we'll, have, we'll get some wonders built and a few other things, and we'll see how we go from there. Right. One minute. There's our last infantry. Oh, we've still got the National Theatre to do. That's point as well. Even though I don't like, uh, oh, the chances of it being of it corrupting heroes has actually gone down quite a lot. So maybe we could actually use that now. Right, a few more seconds. Yeah, and this definitely charges faster than the windmill, because that's got... Uh, I mean, that's only just now hitting four charges. Red coats. <laughs> of course. I don't think we did, no. Right. <clears throat> I guess, um, we'll give it a go. Yeah, we're on 83 grand now. My god. <laughs> we can activate the the quad cooldown thing here. Right. One, two, three, four. That should speed it up. So instead of two minutes, yeah, it's a hell of a lot. A uh, hell of a lot faster. Okay. Right. On that note though, yeah, it looks like soon we'll be facing some mega barbarians. We'll be able to get a last bit of gold. Push it up to the amount we need. Grab some heroes on the way out. And ascend. And we'll see how much we get. Right. I'm curious as well. I'm very curious to see what we can get. I'm imagining we're getting an absolute ton here. Right. Um, we're nearly there. Shouldn't be any trouble now. Three, two, one. Oh, the 
far. Yeah. What happens with that? Okay, the cannons are absolutely crazy for this stuff. There we go. And we've got a new hero. Right, let's see if our theory holds true. If we actually do get mega leveled heroes from all this. Right. Yeah, level 34. Common though. But not bad. So yeah. Beat a high level crisis, get a high level hero. Beat a low level crisis, get a low level hero. Makes a lot of sense. Right. So we can, by all means, grind these difficult crises at the end. Do the ultra mega barbarian camps. And basically get ourselves a bunch of uh, really good high level heroes as a reward. Okay, let's try this then. Okay, one, two, one, two. Sell that, sell them. Oh, 94 grand, wow. Okay, we're basically there. Might as well get this last quest finished. Right, oh, 98k, hmm. We'll let this go through, beat the boss, then we'll try getting a bunch of heroes, because I don't want this to go and corrupt us, so we're about to finish, uh, we'll try for a boss here, so we'll do, th we'll do this first, then we'll click this button a bunch of times. We might not even need any more. Uh, gold use abilities at this point. We'll get that cooldown bonus there. Next charge of it's about to be available. Right. Go. Right. <clears throat> okay. Boss is about to arrive in a minute. We can sell. Um. Sure. Sell the stone. And we're over a hundred gold. Next is at 500,000. Jesus Christ. So 100,000 is good, but 500,000 for the next. <clears throat> We're not going to do quests up to 80 and crises up to uh, 100 or anything. Th this will be fine. So we'll be getting an absolute ton of these tokens at the end of this. <laughs> I do wish I had another uh, hero that were like minus quest time. Yeah. Get it to like minus 90% quest duration or something. Just in practically insta complete them. Right. <clears throat> okay. Um, actually, yeah, let's just get. got elite economy here though not bad certain gu certainly gives you a lot of stuff hmm. 
Right. On that note. Uh, get that done. Right, let this power to cover. Right. Right. And there we have it. Convert to quarry. Woo! Three additional stone a second to add to the 60 odd pile. Someone got corrupted. Yeah, they're draining resources. Um, damn. 300 and odd percent food. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, <laughs> eat more here. Honestly, the three hundred and some percent food here. <laughs> I mean, okay, a plus one worker, but Jesus Christ, that amount of additional food at this point is. If I were to put him on, yeah, we're getting 700 odd food now, in addition to what we had. Um. <laughs> Honestly, we should sort them by level. Right, there we go. Right, um, pretty good, pretty good. And reward. Who did we get? Ooh. Militia should do more damage, but. Eh. The additional clicks a second though is pretty good. Right. So that's plenty of food. Um probably gonna need some more houses. Okay, let's get rid of, yeah, get rid of some of this free space, because holy crap, that is, yeah, we are getting a lot of population suddenly, 100,000 for the next bonus, we might actually be able to pull that off now we've changed that hero out, okay. And that's still going strong. Um, we might easily, yeah, we might be able to easily do this. Um, oh, we can afford a few trade routes here. Right, well then. We can try for a hundred foul population as well. We might as well. Okay. Build the military up as well though while I've got a moment. And we'll get these where are they? Cannons. We go. Fortress. Might as well finish getting that built. That free space is just about worn away. But 
65 fell just about. Well, 64 fell. Okay. Oh, and this is why we're corrupted as well. That's about to wear off. <laughs> Three, two, one. And we have an enormous amount of food again. Okay. Right, back to infantry. Can we get additional resources? Yes, please. Ooh, lovely. Look at that. Slight chance of rebellion, but only slight. <laughs> well, we should probably stop clicking the button. <laughs> Also, we should probably create some more housing. Right. Yeah, we we can barely keep up with this, and we're already on 71 foul. We are pretty much gonna. Yeah, we're, we're probably gonna be able to make that 100 foul here. Right. Okay. Oh, we've got enough housing now, just about. Let's pop infantry back on, so we've just got the full military ready. Thousand population, good lord. I think I think we easily make it to a hundred thousand. I think we easily make it to a hundred thousand people. I think it's not even not even a question. I think we easily make that. And yep, create my housing. Let's see, we're on, uh, right, we, we're not going to make it to uh, the amount of, of gold that we're wanting. We're not going to get to uh, 500 foul. Not unless we just, you know, not unless I literally left the computer on for an hour. So, we'll just grab a bunch of grain shipments. That'll keep us at 100 foul. And we are now once again booming in terms of our population, so. In fact, we're going so, so high with our population that I think we can quite happily and handily do uh, this. Let's see, um, 4,000 space, double the next ability use, boom, there we go. We're on nearly 92. Okay, we hit 92. Each time this fills up, we're getting another 500 foul.
Easy make, yeah, easy, easy make it to uh, 100 fell. Right. Honestly, I bet we'd probably stop slowing at uh, probably like 100. 1020 foul probably is when we'll stop. We'll not get a bonus by that point for the extra, so we'll stop as soon as we get over 100 foul, but yeah. Right. In the meantime, let's uh, double up some ability uses and go with this. No corruption, nice. What did we get? Um, common rubbish. Um, not good either. Additional stone. Yeah. None of these are really great. They're all kind of, yeah, they're all like commons and that. Right. can turn this ability off now. Ooh, slight risk of fire. Gold is up. Get more grain shipments in. <laughs> Literally each use of that, well, yeah, every few uses of that just gives me an additional grain shipment, which is brilliant. Right, double up ability usage, and boom. Right, there we go. Massive population boost. We're well over 100 fow. We will not get any more rewards for population for ages. Same with gold, we can't get any more workshops. Quests would take ages. Same with crises, and we can't bump our tech up any further right now. And we just got an achievement for having a hundred thousand. Let's ascend. Look at that go up. Boom. Yes. Workshops level. Excellent. Right. Bunch. So it's 25 we've got. Now. Okay. So what I think I'm going going to do at this point, because um, a lot of these side upgrades are actually surprisingly expensive. So we've only got 25 of these, and getting this final area is already 15 in and of itself. So if we want to get the actual these other upgrades to get things like the Chichen I uh, it's a wonder here. Um, or if I want to go and get, say, you know, the Taj Mahal or the pyramids down here or Stonehenge and things, right? They're fairly expensive. Um, as things I increase damage there, we've got an Eiffel Tower blueprint. Um,
I think first we'll go with starting gold and the ability to get black lotuses when ascending because we're not even getting those yet and we do need those for certain upgrades so we'll need them for death reduction up here um, is that all we need them for? and we need them for death reduction there and to get to the pyramids but we'll get that and then I'm going to go for an additional worker to start me out with now all that said like I think what I'm probably going to do from now on is most likely I will play a bit in my off time see if I can get a few of these all bought up and upgraded and that and we might do one more run just for while it's an early access where we get to the modern era here so I think we'll go about doing that so the next time I'll probably move forwards a bit and I will see you then where hopefully we'll be going into the modern era and we'll have some wonders to show off I will see you then <laughs>